Hi guys, it's Jeff Marsh here uh, with some marine advice. Um, this video I'm going to be talking about flushing your outboard motor after you've uh, used or been out in your boat. Now I get asked quite a lot from um, from customers over the years if they should be using the flushing attachment on the outboard or using the flushettes or the earmuffs on the motor on the, on the gearbox. My preference is to actually use the flushettes or the earmuffs. These are the earmuffs that I like to use. Uh, with the, as you can see they have the dual intake, the dual hoses going into it um, so that you get a big nice strong stream of water from, from both sides as opposed to just one coming in on one side. Uh, I like these if you have a V6 or a larger outboard that needs a lot of water flow for the cooling of the of the engine. So I mean, these are what I recommend. But anyway, so with with, with the flushing, um, the reason I prefer to use the the flushettes is the fitting that goes onto the motor for flushing it with the hose. Some people plug that on and run it. Now I don't recommend to run it because it flushes the power head out, but it doesn't supply a a large amount of water down to the water pump so if you run the motor for a long period of time you can risk overheating your water pump or your impeller purely because there's not enough water flow to provide the lubrication to the to the water pump to keep the impeller um, the impeller lubricated and not and not burning. The other thing is when flushing it on the hose attachment without running the motor is your your engine doesn't get up to temperature so your thermostat will never will never open. Um, now, if your thermostat doesn't open, you're not actually going to flush out the thermostat and, and that area. So, if you're if you're just flushing it cold, you can risk having a, a seized thermostat next time you go to use the boat because you haven't flushed out the salt water. So, I definitely recommend flushing it on the muffs and, and running it running it through. Get it up to temperature, run it for a good five to seven five to seven minutes. I like to flush it for five to seven minutes because it will normally take a good three or four minutes to get the engine up to temperature uh, to allow the thermostat to open. Uh, once the thermostat opens, then you actually start flushing the head out. Here's a cooling diagram of basically of a, of a, of a cooling flow, sorry, water water flow of, a, of an outboard. So the blue line is the water coming in from your water pump. So it comes in up through the midsection and goes in through uh, that around the side there is through the exhaust, it calls the exhaust first in, a, in an outboard because the exhaust is going to be the hottest part. So it goes through the exhaust into um, into the engine and comes up through the bottom into the top of the head. Now with your thermostat closed it doesn't allow the water to flush back through, it holds it in there. So until the thermostat actually opens it doesn't allow the water to flow down and, and flush flush the head out. Unless you've got a really high RPM and it's pushed the pop-up valve off its seat, which you don't want to be doing on the muffs, it's not actually going to flush that out. So that's why I recommend a good five to seven minutes, even even longer, seven to nine minutes to give it a good a good long run. Now don't do not exceed twelve hundred RPMs in neutral or on, on the muffs. Um, it only needs to be at an idle or a fast idle, there's no need to rev the motor and if you rev the motor up too high anyway the water pressure is going to increase and your pressure relief valve might pop off its seat so the water will actually dump out of the engine instead of flushing through the thermostat anyway. Um, now the importance of flushing your motor out after you've used it is salt builds up um, in your engine if you continue using it all the time and not flushing it it's going to build up and build up and build up over time even if you run it in fresh water, here in New Zealand, I'm not sure what it's like around the rest of the world, but in New Zealand, our freshwater lakes have quite a lot of grit and pumice and stuff in it. So if you're always using it in those lakes uh, and not actually flushing them out, you can get that pumice and stuff blocking up the cooling system because you're not flushing it out. Here's a picture of a Yamaha outboard that wasn't flushed properly and the salt and the sand and everything had time to build up over the years. As you can see down down here it actually built up the cooling system so badly that the salt grew and blew the side of the cylinder head off. Uh, another picture, that's all the water galleries being blocked and this is with the power head off looking down into the midsection. So this this outboard wasn't flushed anywhere near um, enough. I think talking to this owner, he'd owned the motor since new, uh, he was never told to flush it for a long period of time. He only flushed it for about two to three minutes and this was the result. The engine was only probably 12 years old and as you can see it's it's absolutely written off so he waste, wasted his engine because he wasn't flushing it enough. 
This engine was also due for power head gaskets, but that's another video. We'll talk about that at another time. Also, some of our lakes have quite a, because we live by um, some volcanoes um, that have erupted not that long ago, um, a couple hundred or a couple thousand years ago, the, the water content has got a lot of sulfur in it. So um, a lot of people, again, make the mistake that they don't think they need to flush the engine because they're using it in fresh water, but the sulfur is actually quite corrosive to the engine. So some of these engines, when you get them apart, are quite badly corroded. So still, um, I recommend flushing, flushing your engine after you've used your boat. Depending on the lake where you're at, use your judgment. If it's got a lot of pumice and grit in it, give it a give it a flush. If it's nice clean water, then obviously you don't need to. But if you're running it in salt water in the ocean, definitely flush the engine for a good period of time afterwards to clean the engine out. All right. Well, thank you for um, thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. I'm going to be posting more and more videos. Uh, the next one is going to be on what to do um, after you've returned from the from your day out fishing what to look for what to do um, on your engine where to spray corrosion protection and that type of thing so keep an eye out on my videos you can also visit my website www.outboard-boat.com and i've got a capture page there you can enter in your email address and subscribe to my newsletter and i'll send you out um, articles that I've written, uh, advice, maintenance tips, and I can also email you when I post um, my next video on YouTube. Uh, you can also, if you want to, email me and ask me a question. Uh, I can reply via email, or I can also make a video on the topic that you're interested in. Alright, thank you, and I'll see you next time.